Tina from hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing Anonymous. Anonymous presents yet another theory of who could have actually penned all of Shakespeare's plays. In fact, the trailer is ultra dramatic. What if Shakespeare never wrote a single word? This play is surprisingly directed by Roland Emmerich, who is the same guy who did 2012, Independence Day, The Day After Tomorrow, Godzilla. So um, he's really into disaster movies, and so here he wants to prove he can do a tragedy drama. But I consider this movie to be more of a tragic disaster because by the end of the film, all the relationships are just bam. Just picture them exploding like the White House. The theory in this film is that the plays were written by uh, Earl of Oxford, Edward de Vere, who is played by Rizy Fons, Rizy Fons, depending on how you say it. And Queen Elizabeth is played in her declining years by Vanessa Redgrave. And um, there's just a lot going on in this film. There are at least three different timelines, points in time that they show, and they just flow between them uh, without any kind of explanation. And instead of trying anything like Benjamin Button aging makeup, they hire different actors for each of these roles, so you can kind of try to figure out who's who, and it really gets confusing when there are a lot of Earls in the picture. So I like conspiracy theories, and I enjoy seeing another like, dun dun dun, who could have really done it, but I was disappointed in the direction the movie kind of took as far as I didn't feel like he accomplished anything, and um, it just ended up in a big snafu mess. And the timelines and the confusing actors playing the, the characters, I think it just wasn't a very audience-friendly film. Uh, but we did get to see that William Shakespeare, though he's a minor, minor character in this film, invented the art of crowd surfing. I think it can still be very enjoyable to, you know, literary, history-minded folk, but I've, I've heard differing opinions on that. Someone who's really into the stuff hated it, and someone who's really into the stuff loved it. So it's going to be kind of hit or miss, and I think that this one just divides audiences, and I'm on the side of nay. So thank you for watching my review, and I hope you'll come see me next time for another movie, DVD, Blu-ray, or anime review. Bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.